Chapter 2, Reciprocating Engine Operation, Instruments, Maintenance, and Overhaul. Number 1. What indications are given in the event of a leaking or open primer when the engine is running? The engine will not idle properly. Number 2. A cold cylinder is found when troubleshooting a running engine. What does this indicate? No combustion in that cylinder. Number three. When pulling a propeller through, a hissing sound is heard, indicating a valve blow-by. What procedure should be performed next? A compression check should be performed to identify the faulty cylinder. Number four. What is the purpose of performing a compression test? To determine if the valves, piston rings, are sealing properly. Number five, when an engine is overhauled, how is the total time affected? When an engine is rebuilt, how is its operating history affected? The total time on the engine must be continued and the time since major overhaul is entered into the engine log. If the manufacturer rebuilds the engine, it is granted zero time status and is considered to have no previous operating history. Number six, what inspections should be performed after propeller strike without sudden stoppage? First part of the answer, inspect engine mounts, crankcase, and the nose section for damage. Number two, install the oil and oil filter screens, or inspect the oil and oil filter screens for metal particles. Number three, inspect the crankshaft or drive shaft for cracks and missing alignment. Number seven, name some of the precautions that should be performed prior to engine removal. Disconnect the battery. Turn off the fuel valves, chalk the wheels, and if necessary, install a tail stand. Number eight, when inspecting a piston, where are cracks most likely to be found? In those areas that are highly stressed, usually the base of the piston bosses, inside at the junction of the bore and the walls and the ring lands. Number nine, what does it mean if an engine part is within serviceable limits. It means that the part is within manufacturer's limits and can be used in an engine and it does not require replacement. Number 10. What tools or instruments are used to inspect a cylinder barrel for out of roundness? A dial indicator or an inside micrometer is usually used to measure the top of the cylinder and at the skirt. A telescopic gauge and micrometer can also be used. Two readings should be taken 90 degrees to each other. Number 11. How can a loose stud in an engine crankcase be repaired? Remove the loose stud and inspect the hole for size and thread condition. It may be necessary to use an oversized stud or a helicoil insert. Number 12. What publication is used to check an engine for normal operation? The manufacturer's maintenance manual. Number 13. A weak cylinder is found during a compression check. What must be inspected? Pressure is transmitted equally in all directions. Number 14. What purpose does an oil analysis serve? Metal particles in the oil show normal and abnormal wear of the engine. This helps evaluating the engine's internal condition. Number 15. What inspection should be performed on an engine that has been in storage? Perform an inspection to determine if there is any corrosion damage. Number 16. Where would a carburetor air temperature bulb be located? In the ram air intake duct. 
Number 17. What is the fuel pressure range on a float type carburetors? 3 to 5 psi. Number 18. Name the basic components of a fuel indicator system. The transmitter and the indicator. Number 19. What unit of measure is generally used to indicate fuel flow? Pounds or gallons per hour? Number 20. Why is fuel flow monitored? To determine fuel consumption and engine performance. Number 21. What does the manifold gauge indicate and how is it calibrated? It measures the absolute pressure in the engine manifold and is calibrated in inches of mercury. Number 22. What directly controls manifold pressure? Throttle opening and engine RPM. Number 23. During engine operation, where should the propeller control be set when checking the manifold pressure? Low pitch and high RPM. Number 24. Is the aircraft electrical system required to power a cylinder head temperature gauge? No. A thermocouple is used as the electrical source. Number 25. What are the possible indicators, indications of an oil pressure transmitter or indicator malfunction? A severe or sudden drop in oil pressure while the oil temperature remains normal and the oil supply remains full. Number 26. What does a tachometer indicate on a reciprocating engine? Engine RPM. Number 27. Where should the thermocouple be installed on a reciprocating engine using a single probe cylinder head temperature system? On the hottest cylinder.